Hey guys, Jerm here, and today I'm excited to show you multiplayer gameplay of Gameloft's newest racing game, Disney Speedstorm. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure to check out my Furum Clips channel as well as my Purple Team Discord. You'll find the links to those down in the description, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So, Disney Speedstorm came out in closed beta just a couple of days ago, and if you find it interesting and would like to try it out for yourself, I'll put a link down in the description to their website where you can find all the information you need to know about it, as well as the link to pre-register and possibly get selected to join the closed beta. Gameloft gave me a Steam key for Speedstorm a couple days ago so I could try it out and make some early content for you guys. To my knowledge, everybody who plays in the closed beta will have their progress reset at the beginning of the public release of the game, so everybody should be on equal footage at that point. But over these last couple of days I've had the game, I've learned a lot, I've played a lot, I've got about five hours on record at this point, and I'm excited to share with you what it is like. No, I'm not being paid to make this video. I just really enjoy the game, honestly. So there's a few things you might notice right off the bat. The lighting and graphics of the game are a lot like Asphalt 9's graphics. But the track design and the driving dynamics are a lot more like, say, Mario Kart. And I, I think that was the inspiration for this game, sort of, is making a Mario Kart-esque game for PC and with Disney characters, because that is who is in this game. I mean, you start out with Mickey Mouse, and the character I'm driving in now, her name's Elizabeth Swan. She comes from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, which I have never seen, gonna be honest with you. But I decided to start her character and play in it because, well, honestly, it's one of only three characters I have, and I really liked some of her abilities, because each character does have different abilities, and I will explain everything about that throughout the video. To start with the basics, the circles with the arrows in them on the track are boosters. They give you a speed boost for about a second when you go over them. The diamonds in the middle of the track give you power-ups. Now, each character has four power-ups that you can get by going over one of those. I, I don't know for sure, but since they changed color, I kind of think the one you get is somewhat dependent on the color, but that could just be in my imagination too, and it has nothing to do with it. Have not done quite enough testing to say that for sure yet, or say it not for sure. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. If you've been able to play this game, let me know down in the comments what you think about it, and if you haven't, let me know, are you excited about it? Also, every character has their own special ability that you can also get by going through those diamond power-up thingies. In Elizabeth's case, it's that yellow S, where she does the lasso above her head and you shoot forward maybe a second or so on the track. It might have something else to it, but that's mainly what I've seen. On keyboard, you press the up arrow button to use your power-up, and if you hold it down, you get what's called a charge power-up, which is, I think, a bit more powerful than the regular one. Now, up here, you see this shiny blue line. These pretty much just take you over the track and give you some nitro. Yes, there is nitro in this game. Also, there's fire pits and stuff sometimes you have to jump over, which I unfortunately didn't at that time, but then I got a power-up, the Elizabeth Special S power-up, and was able to get ahead. And then also, you might have seen that blue lightning power-up. Well, this is the reason why I like her character so much, because that one, what it allows you to do basically, is get a double nitro tank. And nitro on this car makes you go around 30 kilometers faster. I haven't seen in settings if there's a way to change it from kilometers to miles per hour, so I've just kind of kept on this for now. It makes me feel like I'm going a little bit faster too. Uh, some of the cars that you play throughout the career, because uh, there is a career, they're a bit faster because they allow you to uh, try out cars that you don't actually have yet, which is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's one uh, power-up that somebody else can do that, in that case, made my screen flip. There's a whole bunch of weird ones that you'll probably see throughout this video, and I'll try to explain as many as I can. Also, if you bump somebody, you get a quarter tank of nitro. It's kind of like the whole knockdown thing in Asphalt 9, except you just bump somebody to one side or to the other by pressing your left or right arrow keys, and doesn't actually knock them down. It's just kind of a funny thing that you can do at the beginning of the race to get a lot of nitro early, which is very useful, because you can only actually hit Nitro once you have a full tank, and you press Control to do that. And you also, you press Shift to jump, as I am doing to go over this fire here. These little pads there, with the shiny things coming out of them, make you jump up into the air. 
And there are also ramps, more on some tracks than others. You will see some in the next race in this video where if you jump on them by pressing shift, you do like a flip or something in the air. That doesn't actually seem to help you in any way. It just looks kind of cool. It seems like that should give you extra nitro, but I haven't really seen that happen. And to top off the controls, WASD, your normal go forward, brake, left and right, and then space actually makes you drift. There's a lot of keys you have to keep your your fingers on throughout the race. And right there, she almost passed me at the very last second, the other car back there. Thankfully, though, I got my booster right then and was able to nitro into the finish line. If you don't like the ways the key mappings are set up in this game, there is an alternate keyboard setting. Unfortunately, unlike Asphalt 8, and I don't know why they don't have this option, you can't actually change your keybinds to anything specific that you want, which was also a problem I've always had with Asphalt 9. No idea why they would remove that functionality, because it seems like almost every other game has it. There is a place to provide feedback for the game, so that is one thing I would definitely say. Allow us to choose our keybinds. And the last thing I want to talk about in this video is the progression system of the game which is almost exactly like Asphalt 9's progression system. You have career with the same kind of path system through it as you see in Asphalt 9 and the claiming rewards, and you have special events and multiplayer and a store, which is basically like the legend store where you can buy stuff that refreshes. The entire progression system just is pulled straight from Asphalt 9, basically, which I don't mind necessarily. I mean, I don't have any problems with inherently, it's just, you know, it's kind of based upon getting tokens and buying stuff and every kind of upgrade that you do to your cars requires parts. It's basically like the Pro Kit system from Asphalt 8, and that is how you level up your vehicles. You don't actually choose which of your five stats you upgrade each time. It just cycles through them from 1 through 5, cycles through them again from 6 through 10, and so on. I did say there were 5 stats. The last stat, more than the 4 regular ones from Asphalt 9, is Combat, which I guess increases your ability to hit other people with your power-ups. Not entirely sure what that does so far. But yeah, that's pretty much all the basics for Disney Speedstorm. Let me know if you would like to see me play more in this game, maybe with some other characters, showcase their special abilities and everything or if the game gets popular enough, maybe even a how to go fast in Disney Speedstorm. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do like the video if you have enjoyed and consider subscribing for more Asphalt, Minecraft, Speedstorm, Forza, and other games content. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.